trained to be a secondary school teacher. I did English and drama. Once the hearing loss came on, developed a hearing loss, it became much more difficult. So I was struggling at work and I went off to a lip reading class at the City Lit. I realised when I was attending the class that I was watching the tutor and spotting the techniques that she was using, techniques that I'd been trained to do. And so that's how I started training, switched career. I teach advanced lip reading classes. I write lessons every week and that can sound onerous, but actually that's really creative and interesting. One of the standout things about Fiona is her incredible creativity when she's writing lesson material. There's no manual of lessons for teaching lip reading and you have to make up fresh material every week. She shares her ideas and her lesson material with other teachers across the country. I think she's really regarded as the standard to aim for. very active in attending our conferences that are run by our professional association. She attends regional meetings of lip reading teachers. She's constantly updating her skills and reflecting on her own teaching methods. She makes the lessons very interesting and she has the ability to laugh at herself. She's got the ability to make our classroom a safe haven. It makes us feel safe to be able to open up and say where well, we have problems. Changes in students can be apparent from the very first lesson. You can see it in their demeanour. They walk into the classroom and realise that everybody in that room understands what they're going through, including the tutor. I teach on the lip reading teacher training course. So we have people who come in who want to be teachers. Often their background is very similar to mine. They might already be teachers who can no longer do what they are trained to do, but they can train to do something else. It sounds really corny to say I love my job. <laughs> But I do. People come in, they tell you about the change in them, they tell you about the impact on them, and you think, yeah, I did that. <laughs>